Hey, hello, my funny bros. Welcome to Potty Talk Live, where we take it into the uh, trenches, the crawl spaces, the basements, the kitchens and baths all over this world of ours to talk to plumbing professionals just like you. Hello, I'm Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, coming to you live from Command Central here in beautiful, we think it's beautiful, Indianapolis, Indiana. All right. We love it here. Hey, having a great day. Having a great day. We're just talking with our guest. Can't wait to get our guest on. Cool cat. Cool cat from, well, I'm going to say he's a Buckeye. So you have to stick, for those of you who know what a Buckeye is or isn't, you have to find out. All right. But uh, he's from my home state. So I can't wait to, uh, can't wait to talk with him. All right. But uh, just talking with him and having one of those days where, hey, I feel good, but you ever feel just a little bit just kind of on or off or a little, you know, just you know, not quite all there? You know, <laughs> I guess I'd say it a lot. All right, but I hope you're having a great day. And if you are, you know, hey, type a one in the comments, all right? And uh, throughout the show here as well, all right? Hey, you can comment, all right? And if you have something to say or something you want to pass on to our guest, um, keep it nice, all right? This is an uplifting show, all right? But, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll post it, all right, so you can be seen, all right? So let's support our guest here a little bit. Can't wait to get him on here. It's going to be a fun time. But also, hey, I have something for you here. I want to pass on to you. Hey, if you're a, if you're a guy, if you're a guy that has um, your plumbing license and a plumbing truck and a plumbing dream, you know, that plumbing dream to take over the plumbing world or not even the plumbing world, but just your part of the world, all right? Hey, I, I, I've been there. Been there and done that. And we're just talking uh, – talking with our guest here and it reminded me here for about uh, 30 years. I never thought I'd be in plumbing. You know, did you, did you ever think you were going to be in plumbing? But uh, it turned out to be a great thing. And I'm glad I did. It's been a great life, a great career and all kinds of opportunity. And uh, I took it to the point to where I wanted to do my own thing. You know, I had my plumbing license and I had a, got a plumbing truck and had the plumbing dream and um, got out there and, and started doing my own thing. But um, you soon find out, or at least I did, that it, was, it just wasn't about plumbing. And uh, there's some things I needed to know. And, hey, there's some things that you need to know. And I want you to know these things. Because if you know these seven things, you will be successful. But if you don't know these seven things, you won't be successful. Okay? Hey, I'm, I'm your big bro, right? All right? There's no snowflakes here. I'm going to tell you this straight. All right? You've got to know these seven things. You can be the best plumber in the world. But if you don't know these seven things, it's awfully tough. So I want to get you my free report. It's free. All right. You hear that? Free. There's no strings attached, no gimmicks, no, 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 no nothing. All right. My free report. The seven must knows to be a million dollar plumber. That's right. Seven must knows. You must know these things. And I want to get it in your hands. All right. And it's easy. All right. So just check it out. It's free. All right. So just check it out. You can type free down in the comments. Or you can go to Facebook.com, my, my fan page, The Million Dollar Plumber, and um, you can click the Learn More button and go from there. Or simply type free in the comments. There we go. That may be easier. Free, F-R-E-E -E in the comments, and I'll get that right out to you. All right? So there, there you go. All right? You got something free. How about that? Doesn't that feel good? All right. Here we go. Hey, I want to get our guest on here. This is going to be a fun guy. All right? Let's bring, uh, let's bring uh, our guest into the studio here. We got Mr. Jim Eichen, sir. Did I, did I, did I say it right? A cool you name. did it fabulously. I, Nicely oh, done. Thank you. All right. Not bad for a master plumber, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah, my name gets butchered more than, well, more than most, I'm sure. Oh, brother. Hey, it's great to have you on the show. Um, for uh, for our viewing audience here, I, I kind of you know Jim has a little thing. He does some Facebook lives, and he's fun to watch. Um, we'll we'll get him if he wants to. We'll get uh, um, his address or whatever if you're comfortable with that, and you can check him out because he he's doing some fun stuff and has a fun story. And um, man, how'd you get? Um, um, well, hey, hey, we got someone. Hey, Rob he says hello, fellas. All right, hey, hey Rob, Rob. Hey, love Back Rob. Day. All right, you know Rob. All right. Yeah, he's a good man. Good man. All right. There we go. Fist bump for Rob. All right. Yeah. Thank you, brother. All right, man. <laughs> hey, well, Jim, how'd you get involved in plumbing? Well, uh, didn't intend on it. It wasn't like a dream I had or anything. I know. Uh, was it, wasn't your top Wasn't your top 10? Wasn't even on my list anywhere. <laughs> right. no, it wasn't even on the radar. Right. I, was, uh, I was working at Pizza Hut at the time. And, oh, yeah. uh Mine was, was Domino's. 20. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's natural. 
Um, and, uh, you know, I was fine there, but I knew I'd have to do something, you know, real, uh, at some point. So it was just through a friend of a friend, uh, worked for a plumbing company, a little mom and pop shop in yep. Chesterland, Ohio. And they were looking for a gopher, basically, you know, just somebody, you know, a young, real. stupid kid. So, <laughs> but the thing that was cool about it um, that I didn't appreciate at the time, <clears throat> and I went in and I they interviewed or whatever, and I talked to the boss, his name was Ted Poucher, and uh, still owns Osborne Plumbing and Heating in oh. uh, Joga County, and he said to me, he goes, he goes, yeah, we're just looking for, a, you know, a grunt right now, but he goes, I'd really like to... <clears throat> you know, have you stay with the company, you know, looking for somebody who wants to learn, wants to learn the trade and, you know, that potentially maybe I might pass the business to someday. And, um, it kind of hit me, but like I said, I was 20 years old and, you know, I, I was immature. I still am, but it, it just didn't hit me, but I appreciated it nonetheless. Um, so that's how I got into it. And I, I dug it. Yeah, it was cool. Um, the place that I did, Osborne Plumbing and Heating, uh, we did a lot of different stuff. I learned uh, water treatment. I learned well work. Um, we didn't drill wells, but we did everything else. Uh, I learned uh, boilers. Learned a little bit of HVAC. I went to HVAC school for like a year. Um, but, and then the rest of it little was mostly residential and maybe some minor light commercial stuff here and there, but, um, just, I couldn't have asked for a better education, uh, in the trades. And plus, you know, I learned, you know, I'm not an electrician and, you know, nor a carpenter or anything, but just, you know, you work on boilers, you got to know electricity, you got to learn electronics. Right. You pick it up. And, right, uh, so it was great. It was a great experience for me. But yeah, I did not. Nobody in my family was a plumber. I never thought that's where I was going. I know, and that's the story. I hear, I hear that so many times, um, um, you know, all over the world. That, that's the story. You know, none of us really expected to, you know, would be in plumbing, but you know, yeah. it turned out to be a good thing. You know, so you mentioned you've done it you know, you know, a lot of different things. What's your yeah. favorite type of plumbing job? What, what's what's your expertise or, or your your gig? Um, it's tough. Probably. <clears throat> I love the troubleshooting aspect. <clears throat> I love going to, especially on something that, yeah. you know, maybe uh, one or two guys from my company have already been to, or, you know, they've had two other companies in, they couldn't figure out what the problem is. <clears throat> I love being the, the go-to yeah. guy on that. Yep. Um, yeah. so yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, I I still I like to solder. That was another <laughs> thing my boss my boss told me when he said you need to approach soldering. He goes soldering. He said plumbing in general, but especially soldering. He said it's an art. He said, right. You need to approach it like an artist. So I took that to heart, and uh, so yeah, I like you know when you get done, you got a nice joint, you got a nice bead on there, and it's not boogered up and dripping all over the place. That's right. Um, yeah. And that's that's so, the fun yeah. of it. That's how I always looked exactly. at it as well. You know, the artwork. You know, yeah. And uh, it, you know, it makes it fun. Are, it does. And there are some guys out. I mean, I'm on a ton of different mm -hmm. uh, plumbing pages, and you see some of the work that these guys are posting. It's just, it's gorgeous. It yeah. literally looks like artwork. You know, so you know, cool it, there's some artists out there. Hey, Sean. Oh, yeah. Good to have you on the show. And, um, yeah, that's what makes it fun, you know, and that's what, uh, you know, those are the guys I love to guys that, you know, take pride in themselves and, exactly. um, you know, pride in their trade, pride in their company and pride in their work, you know, and yeah, yeah. you know, there's some messy stuff with plumbing, but, uh, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know some, <laughs> yeah, some of it's crap, but it doesn't mean we have to look yeah. like crap, right? You know, exactly. Yes. So, <laughs> so what, on that line, you know, I got your laugh there. What's, um, you know, Share a funny story or something that's that's happened. I mean, you've been around the block. You know, have you seen any yeah. crazy stuff or anything crazy um, happen to you? 
Yeah, I'm trying to. There's been several things. Uh, I was just uh, just the other day. I was, and this was on one of the plumbing pages. I was on. Some guy had uh, <clears throat> ripped half his beard off in a a grinder or something. He was running. <laughs> so yeah. I I used to have I. I was King Mullet, man. I had the most beautiful mullet you have ever seen, my brother. I know. I, th I think I gave you a run for money on the mullet there. You know, oh. mullet, <laughs> we'll have to compare guys, pictures. <laughs> we can do the mullet well, right? Yeah. Uh, so there's my, it was literally, it was 18 inches long. It was almost yeah. down to my rear end. Okay. So yeah, I yeah, always, yeah. always kept it in a ponytail. But, right. um... When I I was using it, was a K, I think it was a K60 machine, uh, rigid K60 sewer machine, uh, cable machine, and snake in this tub drain, and were in, and my hair flipped over, caught into the cable, and this machine, this was one of the crappiest machines we had, and a lot of times the clutch would not disengage. So that was my first, my hair's caught, my head's starting to go down, I let go of the clutch, mm -hmm. thankfully it stopped. Or I mean, I would have been scalped, I would have ripped the back end of my head off. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> so that was a, that was an interesting one. Uh, the other uh, one was, uh, I was in a, oh, I'm sorry, did you want to say something? No, I, no, I, I just... Okay. I just, I'm, just, I'm just picturing the mullet, I mean, I, I had the same, it's very similar, and it's like... You know, we're lucky we're still alive, right? Oh, yeah. my goodness, oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah. Hey, Keith. Um, so there was another job, and this I'm sure this has happened to a lot of plumbers. I'm in the basement of this house, um, and sewers were backed up. And there's a, you know, I knew that the, the stack was relatively full, but I thought I could get the clean-out plug out just enough to start letting it you know ooze out and you know right <laughs> this i started undoing it it oh. just broke free and you know in my mouth oh i'm just covered in you know human excrement which is uh, wonderful uh, <laughs> so that was hey, a that was hey, rob, a good rob one. says uh, i guess he's calling you king mullet all right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh good oh. that's good stuff <laughs> So yeah, that was the, that that those are two good ones that I've I've got to throw at you. Well, some yeah, very very interesting there. Good good stories, man. Good stories. Thanks. Well, we'll we'll clean up a little bit. We'll get back back in line here. Um, what, what's your favorite tool? What's a favorite tool you you got you, you know, have with you? Or you got to have. I was I was thinking it it kind of goes back and forth. Um, recently, my favorite <laughs> my favorite, and I should have had it here with me. It's in my tool bag in the back. It's a tiny pair of channel locks. Yeah, the little, uh, what are they, the tens, the little tens, or the set? What are I, they? I, don't even, I don't even think they're tens. These yeah. things, and they're, these are actually crescents, but they're, uh, you know, it, it's a uh, uh, adjustable player. You know, oh. it, it's a pair of small channel locks, basically. But, yeah, they're, they can't be bigger than six inches. Yep. But <laughs> I, I just, yeah, that in my, I've used that with more stuff uh, in the past, three months than anything so that's that's one of my favorites yeah, um, i just had i just had a buddy of mine that's watching the program here i got got my buddy scotty mccracken here says i love it when that happens he got he has a little uh, a little poo emoji or whatever so, <laughs> and he's a I, I know why i'm saying that he has a story that he got poo all over him from a sewage ejector oh, so i think yeah, he was relating I, to you all right yeah. had, had well, little, i appreciate that scott all right <laughs> Solidarity, brother. Solidarity. That's right. right. For the guys who got it on them. All right. Okay. Yeah. Part of the poo brigade. Um, That's right. But it's interesting that I want to I wanna, uh, sidetrack for a second, go back to the being covered in poop. I, I don't get sick. Um, and I think service plumbers especially run into this. I've just been exposed to so much horrible junk. I think I've built up an immunity. So that yeah, getting right. doused in poop is, you know, it's almost like, uh, you know, like you the got, toxic yeah. Avenger. Right, you got inoculated you know. or whatever. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, but my other favorite tool would probably be my, uh, uh, I've got an 11-in-1 uh, Milwaukee screwdriver. 
Hey, uh, Jim, uh, Frank, Frank says, uh, love you, brother. All right. So you're, <laughs> Hello, you're, you're, Frank. You're, you're getting some love. All right. Oh, yeah. No, it's, on. One of my brothers right there. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, I didn't mean to I cut you off. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Keith Martin there. I used to, when I worked for a plumbing supply house, Keith Martin, I worked with him there. It was active plumbing supply. But uh, Keith and I are also in a band together. Hmm. Uh, Okay, we got we got to hear about that. Yeah, did oh. I see that you, you play drums or something? Did I see you know? Yeah. You know, yeah. I was kind of scoping. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, I'm, uh, uh, the, the plumbing drummer. All right. So you guys in a band? I Me? Mean, are you you out playing or what? Yes. Uh, yeah. It's it's cover music, but it's yeah. a very unique. Cool. You know, I don't want to go too nuts on it, but uh, we play mid seventies, the mid eighties. More poppy stuff. Yeah. Uh, nothing super heavy. Um, here's, uh, there's our, uh, oh, our business Bino, card. Bino Arcade. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like Arcade. Yeah. Oh, cool. And man. we also have a screen running in the background playing commercials from that era. And then we actually perform TV show jingles and TV show themes. Um, wow. At commercials and stuff too, so and it's a blast. It's great. Hey, you it, got uh, you got uh, Mr. Mr. Rail or uh, Gary? Oh, Gary! So, yeah, you're number one in the number two in business. <laughs> Boy, you got some uh, you got some good brothers there, man. <laughs> oh, I do. I just. <laughs> oh, Gary and I went to high school together. <laughs> oh man, so, that's good. Well, man, you got a lot going on. Well, well tell me, um, you know, what has you fired up about, um, you know, the future of the plumbing? You know, we talked to, you know, a lot of these young guys and young bucks, um, young guns. And, yeah. um, you know, for us, it's been a good trade and you can do very well. What has you fired up about uh, the plumbing trade in the future? It, probably a couple things. Number one, I'm liking, well, I don't think we're there yet, but, uh, you know, a lot of, you know, you and I aren't getting any. You, you're smart. You got out. <laughs> you sold your business, and now you're now you're helping the. You know, us, you know us guys that are still out there in the trenches. Hey, we're having fun. Um, yeah, I, I still got to hang out. Oh with yeah, you. you can't get rid of me. Yeah, <laughs> you know? exactly. But um, I like seeing. It seems there is a bit. It's not as big as I'd like to see, or that anybody would like to see, but a resurgence. You know, some of these younger guys. You know, the trade schools are, I think, slowly kind of making a comeback. Um, you know, people are realizing that, hey, you know, it's great. You want to go to college, get a degree, you know, that's, if you can do that, it's just, it's not for everybody. Right. I wasn't meant to do that. Yeah. Um, I could have gone to college for, for free because um, of certain circumstances that were happening to me at that time in my life. But I didn't, I just, you know, and maybe it's still stupid. I probably should have, but I just, it just wasn't for me. And it's not for a lot of people. Right. If it is, hey, that's great. But, um, so yeah, so I'm liking, because, and I'm meeting a lot of these younger guys. We've got a couple young guys working for us. You know, they're going to trade school and, you know, and they're catching on and, you know, I'm seeing a little bit of passion. Right. And I love that. You know, if they, that. if they can catch a little bit of the vision, you know, yeah. um, you know, I know, you know, when we, when we were young pups, I know none of us probably dreamt, you know, we wanted to be, uh, you know, I wanted to be a lead guitarist and, you know, for ACDC, but, you know, a job was already <laughs> taken, you know, but, um, yeah. you know, it wasn't on plumbing. You, you probably wanted to be a drummer for, you know, I don't right. know, Van, Van, Van Halen or something, but, but, um, you know, so we, we never thought we'd be in plumbing, but it's, a, it's been a great career. Um, there's huge opportunity. And even going forward, I mean, robots aren't going to take our jobs. It just isn't going to happen. You know, so with, with all yeah. this AI and robotics right. and all that, you know, just and so that the value of plumbers is going is going up. And so, man, if these young guns can just capture that vision and just kind of take themselves, um, you know, um, a little bit seriously and, um, you know, be an artist, you know, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, exactly. All right. Hey, we got Keith says, uh, plumbing outlaws for life. Hail our resident nice guy, Jim. <laughs> I mean, Ken. There we go. Ken. Yeah, All right. <laughs> yeah, another plumbing page I'm on. Um, and uh, they're, they're a little bit, uh, they're a little bit rougher, but they got hearts yeah. of gold. They're just great guys. Good guys, yep. And they, they do more to help each other, you know, guys in the group than any other group that I'm in. 
but uh, mm -hmm. yeah, they kind of call you know, the resident nice guy. I'm sort of like Deacon Jim or Pastor Jim or there we whatever. Go. <laughs> okay. Hey, uh, we need some of that too. We need some of that too. Well, mentioning yeah. groups, just mentioning groups, Jim, here, I'm going to take a moment and uh, just uh, let the guys know about uh, uh, my group, um, um, the GoPro Inner Circle group. And look, all these, I'm, I'm on these other groups as well, and it's great to be with these other plumbing groups. Um, but if you're looking, if you're, if you're a guy that has your plumbing mm -hmm. license and, and a plumbing truck and the, the plumbing mm -hmm. dream of, again, having your own plumbing business, um, that's where I can help. And, and that's what uh, GoPro Inner Circle is all about. And want to invite you to um, check it out as well. It's on top of, we, it's on the business side. We're not going to be talking plumbing. So it's good that you're part of these other, other member groups. Um, where we are talking plumbing and doing those kinds of things. This is more about the business side of plumbing, okay? So you, you can do both. It's not an either-or kind of a thing. But you can go check it out. It's, you know, there's professional business coaching there, um, industry info and insights, news. Um, there's another, uh, the GoPro show, where we talk to industry leaders. And, um, and you know, it's still an opportunity to network with other plumbing professionals who are also business owners. So you have that side of things. Um, you have the, my GoPro power tools there. You know, it's, now, now these are not tools that you're going to use, you know, hand tools that make your, the plumbing job itself easier. This makes your plumbing business easier. And, we, and we, we have those kind of tools that just make it easy for you to run your plumbing business and so much more, okay? So, you know, check it out there. You can go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash go dash pro. That's themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash go dot or dash pro and just check it out see if it's for you all right i'd like to see you there on the inside all right guys hey it's time for the lightning round guys let's get uh let's get jim back in here in the studio and all right i'm ready to go ready. let's you go ready? you ready all right okay all right you guys you guys watching too okay jim's bros all right hey let's let's know your comments as well okay so be listening up you can write in your uh your responses all right you ready man yep here we go Residential or commercial? Residential. All right. Copper or CPVC? Copper. Uh -huh. Copper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we catch you. Okay, this is, this is an important one. Gladiator or Braveheart? Oh, Gladiator. Oh, yeah. Maximus Decimus Meridius. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Tank or tankless? Tankless. Tankless. Yeah, it's cool. Cool technology. Yeah. But yep. Going that way. Okay. Crawl space or slab? Oh. I gotta go cry. I hate crawl spaces, but I gotta be able to get to them pipes. I know you gotta <laughs> I don't know. That's a tough one there. Okay, this is this is another important one. McDonald's or Subway? Oh. Uh, I've always been a McDonald's. I've, I've moved into being a Subway guy. Guy. Subway guy, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Solder fitting or shark bite? <laughs> oh, <laughs> solder, solder, solder. solder. <laughs> but do it artfully. That's right. Right. Wipe those joints. All right. Exactly. No dripping. All right. Favorite on the job music. What do you listen to when you get in the groove? I'm a talk radio guy. Talk? <laughs> I'm a big nerd. All right. Well, I got a Rush Limbaugh guy. Rush Limbaugh. Okay, yeah, yeah. fun. All right. Okay. All right. We got we got my buddy Scotty implying. Um, if you're a plumber, you are a gladiator. That's that right. So true. That's right. <laughs> right. No kilts in plumbing. No kilts in plumbing. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, Jimmy. What? Yeah, Jimmy, what? stop what? it. Those joints. <laughs> behave, Jimmy, behave. Be uh, nice, Jimmy. Okay. Hey, all right, here's a biggie. If yeah. you had a superpower, what would it be? Wow. Um, That's a super strength. Super strength. Yeah. All right. Who's, who's your super dude? Uh, I'm, I'm, I, I'm actually, I'm more of a, uh, an Iron Man no, fan, I don't know. but, 
the strength though. It's got to got to be strength. Yeah, I can see that. You got the you got the beer going too. You're working it. Yeah. We got We got to get him cut down and. All right. <laughs> I tried to grow the Tony Stark thing at one yeah, point. I couldn't right, figure right. it out. Right. <laughs> All right. Red Three. Bull or coffee? Red Bull or coffee? I knew that was one of your questions. Uh, I'm more of a monster guy. You're a monster man. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but uh, I, got, I would have to go probably, probably Red Bull then. <laughs> okay. Yep. You're on that side. Okay. Gotcha. Adjustable wrench or channel locks? We channel just, locked. Yep. Yeah. We love our channel locks. Yep. Yeah. Got to be careful with them, though. Okay. Yeah, you do. Bust yeah. those knuckles. You got to bust the knuckles. Well, oh, yeah. Or tear up a fitting. Yeah. Oh, yep. Uh, Milwaukee or DeWalt? Milwaukee. All right. Yep, definitely. Definitely. Okay. All right. Here we go. What was the first thing you wanted to be? When you were a boy, when you wanted, you looking to grow up. What was the first thing you wanted to be? I my earliest memory was <clears throat> wanting to be a semi truck driver. Okay, cool. what did you um, like? What, what, I, was, it, what was cool about a that? A buddy of mine, a buddy of mine was really into trucks, and uh, you know we didn't like the cab over types. We liked the like the the Peterbilt Kenilworth, the big long nose trucks with the huge sleeping, right. you know. Uh, on the back and uh you know a, a trailer with the same color you know matched to the k you know to the to the uh to the tractor um and uh which i finally because i ended up getting my uh uh cdl really got a class a cdl when i was working for osborne plumbing 25 years ago and then when i went to go work for active plumbing supply the supply house that i worked for for nine years um that CDA, CDL came in handy because I drove truck for them. Now, it wasn't a semi. It was just a big box truck, but it got me close to driving that semi. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Do you remember, um, so did, was your uh, dream, were you, you say you were with a buddy or whatever, were you like a, a team or were you going to do your own thing when you were um, driving? Probably would have just been our own thing because okay. we both wanted to do it. Yeah. I think we're we're similar age. You remember there was a show on TV. It was a couple it's truckers. BJ and the Bear. Well, there was yeah, it was BJ and the Bear. Oh, that that okay. wasn't the one I was thinking of though. But oh, yeah, BJ ahead. and the Bear. <laughs> there was another one where it was like it was two buddies and they were truck drivers and it was and it was like for truck drivers they always wound up driving to that town that had the murder or something happened and they got all caught up in stuff and they were the ones they were the they were the ones who solved the crime or or saved the the damsel. Yeah. But uh, it was a show. It was in the seventies. It was like uh, mid mid seventies, so but that uh, BJ and the bear, bear that was a, that was a good one too. Oh man! Yeah, Taking I got it. You don't remember the name of the other one? No, no, I can't. Uh, I, I can see the one. The one star was you know he's in the movies. Always played kind of a rough guy in the movies. Um, but uh, yeah, just two truck driving buddies. You know they were a team. Yeah. Drive you know driving America, and they always want you yeah. know. And every week they wound up in the town that had the murder, and they got caught up in some trouble. So. Uh, All right. Now I'm gonna have. Right. To, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be Google searching that now after we're okay. done here. <laughs> we'll check it out. Let me know. We'll stay yeah. in touch here. Well, Steve yeah. says, "Yeah, he's buff, Jimmy." All right. What? You got your buddy. Your buddy Steve. I I don't know. Do I know Steve? I'm Steve trying to Quill. think. Steve Quill he could he's be a buff, new Jimmy. buddy. <laughs> All right. Steve, if I if I if we know it, well, there's Jimmy. Dang you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dang. Dang Jimmy, Jimmy Espinosa does. <laughs> he does think I'm rather handsome. <laughs> Hey, you do look good, man. You look good, and especially if you got the Tony Stark. If you could, if you could get the beard going with that, man, you could, you could pull off Iron Man. Okay. Yeah. All right, brother. I like you. I like you, Richard. You're a good man. All right, man. I appreciate that. Hey, we'll put, I'll pull it back in here a little bit. Tell us. Okay. Um, we'll get a little more. We'll get some serious here for the for the young guys. What What's the best uh, the best advice you've ever you've ever gotten? You'd like to share. That and I think it kind of goes back to the conversation about soldering, you know, approaching it, um, you know, as being an artist. Um, that also, <clears throat> in the same conversation, you know, Ted Poucher, you know, he told me, he goes, you just always take pride in your work because he, he, there was a couple guys that worked at that company at the time. 
uh, or had just left that company. And he said, you know, they were good plumbers, but they just didn't take pride in their work. So I've always, you know, I've had my days where, you know, I've let something slide and that's eh, good enough for now. Or, But I, I truly try and, you know, have my work look like, look like I care. And, you know, I've had conversations with um, guys that I've, I've worked with and told them, I said, you know, you're better than that. I, so, you know, I just, I hate to see guys doing sub, <clears throat> subpar work. So, yeah, just taking pride in what you're doing. I think that was probably one of the best pieces of advice. And that's, that is so true. Great advice there, guys, if you're listening. Um, I was look, watching the comments here, and we had, a, I think, a younger guy, uh, Aaron, who's uh, newer to the trade. He's says he's diving uh, headfirst into the trade, which is good, Aaron. It's a great, it's a great life, a great trade. And and Jim just laid, uh, you just provided you with a gold nugget there. Just, um, you know, taking pride in your work, and uh, you can be artistic with it, and uh, take yourself seriously. Isn't that right? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, um, take yourself too seriously though. Yeah, you don't take right. Yeah, don't you know? Don't be a don't be a don't be a douche. Yeah, but, you know, right. But uh, take your yeah, you know, and, be professional. Take take uh, pride yes. in your work. I guess the best way to put take, it. Yeah, right. And don't be afraid to give your knowledge away either. Right. Some guys want to hold on. No, I don't. I'm going to want anybody to be better than me or whatever. It's like no, you should want everybody. You did. We got like just what you're trying to do, Richard. You want you're building people up. I mean, right. Ah, got to do more of that. It makes us all look good, you know? Yes. Right, right. Yes. And Jim, that's right. I mean, like you, you make us all look good. I mean, you've been a great, uh, a great guest. You're out there, you know, you make us, you make us all look good, you know? Yeah, and I don't about that, but thank you. Yeah, you do, brother. Yeah, you do. You know, and yeah. when one of us is, um, you know, why I just, I was talking with a guy today and he's not, wasn't a plumber, but it was in, he's in the HVAC business. And uh, he was talking about this competition. He was kind of, you know, bad mouthing him a little bit. And I said, ah, oh, I always get a little uncomfortable. I never, I never, you know, of course we're in competition with one another, whether it's, you know, for the job itself or company wise. And that's fun, right? I mean, it's fun, sure. fun to be in competition, but I never, I never bad mouth uh, my competition. Good. I mean, because it, it, it really, it makes us all look bad. You know, we yes. think it makes us look good, but it makes us all look bad. And no, you look like you look pathetic and, and it's not good for the trade. Right. You know, it's just, it's not good for your reputation. Right. I mean, and it, and it comes, and I was telling somebody this the other night, um, it, it literally, and you've heard this, we've all heard it, our moms said it to us. You know, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say anything. That's right. right. Just, you know, oh, quiet. gosh, quiet. Bob, yes, exactly. You know? Oh, yeah, but it, yeah, there's it, no need for bad mouthing. Right, so it's just good, but it's a great trade, and that, that's great advice, Jim. You know, take, taking, um, you know, pride in our work and taking pride in one another and, you know, yes. and this list is all up, right? Yes. You know? All right, man. Yes. Well, gr well, great, Jim. Hey, was you've been, you've been a lot of fun, brother. I <laughs> well, so it. have you. You make it easy. You're oh, easy yeah, to talk is, to. This is fun. Hey, I got to tell you guys, you know, we, we had a, the guest today was uh, rescheduled. So Jim was scheduled later, and we just uh, you know hit him. Like, hey Jim, would you just come on? And Jim jumped right on. And so this has been fun, man. A great way to great way to do it. So can we have you on again sometime? Oh my gosh, I mean, I I was really I was honored when you asked. I mean, oh. you know, I know you you want a lot of different plumbers, but I just like wow, that is way cool. Because oh, I you know everything I've seen about you, you seem like a stand up dude. Um, so well, I, yeah, it was I an honor. That. Well, I no. appreciate that. This is fun. This is about the guys. It's just fun talking to all the guys, and it? it's just it's just yeah. fun. And um, it so it's been, it's been fun talking with you again. I appreciate uh, you being on the show and sharing your You're wisdom. Welcome. And sure. um, you know, I appreciate you making us all look good, man. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, guys. Hey, let's give uh, give Jim some thumbs up or give him some uh, attaboy, some clapping hands or something. Yeah. And um, and uh, uh, what I want to say, uh, you know. For all you entrepreneurs out there, bam -o, go get him and listen to this guy. He can help you. Hey, all right. Hey, uh, checks in the mail, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Jim. Hey, we'll right. talk to you soon, man. It's been I great. I certainly hope so. All right, brother. Go being on. Hey, Take thank care. You, man. Take care. All right. right.
Hey, guys. That was a great time. Hey, Jim dropped some nuggets of gold there. It was good. I know we were sounding like we're just uh, laughing, having fun, but a lot of wisdom there that uh, Jim passed on. I hope you caught a lot of that. And, uh, hey, if you'd like to be on Potty Talk Live, I'd love to have you on Potty Talk Live. Uh, Potty Talk Live is about you, and um, it's about uh, our plumbing trade. And so it's easy. If you want to be on Plumbing Talk uh, Live, just go to www.pottytalklive.com. And you can click on, uh, I think it says, uh, Be My Guest. And uh, you just click there on Be My Guest and fill out your name. And, and uh, it goes out, and we'll get you on the show, man. And see how, It's a good time. We have a good time, all right? So check it out. Love to have you there. Also, I want to be sure to get you my seven must-knows to be a million-dollar plumber. Get that in your hands. It's free, all right? It's free. And if you're, if you're looking to do your own thing or, or you're just looking to take your, your plumbing career to the next level, you, you need to know these seven things, all right? Um, I just want to save you the time and the hassle, all right, the waste of time and money, and it's free. So just simply type in free in the comments, and I'll get it out to you, F-R-E-E, -E, and I'll get it out to you, all right? And uh, you can check it out. So there you have it. So do that. All right, and so until next time, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you again tomorrow. Um, but until then, hey, I want you to remember that you were purposely and wonderfully created. So when you're out there doing your thing, when you're out there saving the funny world, from like the champions.